Hey, Jason here from Theme Punch. So in this video we'll discuss how you can transform a grid that would normally look like this into something that would look like this. So basically we have a masonry grid with a main media image and content below it, but that's also perfectly symmetrical. So really what we're trying to do is combine some of the advantages from a masonry layout and also an even layout. So over in the Essential Grid main admin page, I have a grid created called My Grid. And it's a post-based grid, but it could also be a custom grid. And right now I've got the grid layout set to masonry, but let's go ahead and see what it would look like with even. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh the page here. And this is our even grid. So basically the main difference between an even grid and a masonry grid is that for an even grid the content is never shown unless you hover your mouse over it. And for a masonry grid the content is always shown without a mouse hover. Now this will also depend on the type of skin that you've chosen. So for example in our grid here I've got Cleveland chosen as the grid skin. However if we were to choose something like Washington Washington generally doesn't have content below the main media image and instead it's placed on top of it. So if we were to use a Washington skin, it really wouldn't matter if we were using an even grid or a masonry grid layout because the content would always appear on top of the main media image. So for this type of setup, it's really best to use one of the masonry skins and you can go ahead and inside the skin tab click on this masonry button here and this will give you a whole bunch of skins that are pre-made for this type of purpose. So I'm going to go ahead and select Cleveland again and then save the grid and here is our grid with the Cleveland skin with an even grid layout. So let's go ahead and change that back to masonry in the grid settings. And the main difference between an even grid layout and a masonry grid layout with regards to the image itself is that in a masonry grid layout the image is never cropped. It's always just resized based on the image's original size ratio. So for example, this image here it has a different original size ratio than this image here. But both are resized and shown in their entirety and none of the image itself is actually cropped. So this image is looks like it's more of a 4x4 four four original image size and this looks like it's more of maybe a 4x2. So this would be what size the image is in Photoshop before it was actually uploaded to your WordPress site. Now with an even grid layout the image will always be sized based on this items ratio XY here. So regardless of how the image is originally sized in Photoshop, it will always just be stretched and cropped to this particular image size ratio. And that's how with an even grid we can achieve a completely symmetrical grid even though the images themselves may not all be the exact same size ratios. Okay, so let's go ahead and set this up. I'm going to change the grid layout back to masonry and then save the grid. And this is what we have. So the goal is for these items to all be the exact same height. And that way we'll have a perfectly symmetrical grid. But to do that we're going to have to crop some of the images. And we want to crop them to our smallest image's height. So if we were to review this grid, it looks like this particular image here has the smallest height. So we'll have to make that the maximum height for all of the rest of our images. So to do that, I'm going to head over to the item skin editor. And the easiest way to access the item skin editor is from the essential grid main admin page where we have our my grid listed and just click the Edit Skin button. And 
and I have some custom CSS already written here for this and this is it right here and if we head over to the CSS editor section we can go ahead and paste this right here at the top and so the second line is just some generic overrides and these values won't need to be changed the first line has the maximum height value that we discussed earlier and right now I have this set at 190 but we may need to change that uh, and we can go ahead and test it and see if we can figure out a good number for that so let's save this custom CSS and then go ahead and retest it on the front end and that's a little bit better but you can see that it's not perfectly symmetrical so let's go ahead and change that number maybe down to 175 and I'll go ahead and post this CSS at the bottom of this video tutorial so that way you can just post it into your CSS editor okay so that's looking a little bit better and I think that our image size is actually pretty good but if you notice the actual content areas are slightly different in height so for example beach and cottage have three lines of content here whereas highway only has two lines of content so we can go ahead and limit the amount of words that are used for this excerpt content element and that should align that better as well so if we head back to the item skin editor and we go ahead and click the excerpt element right here where it says limit by words it looks like just one word is bleeding over so I'm just going to change this from 15 to 14 and then that should get our content looking more symmetrical Yep. so you see here now we have pretty much a symmetrical grid where all of the items are perfectly aligned and all the same width and same height now the disadvantage to this is that this particular image here is definitely cropped and if we were to review this in Firebug and we were to hit up to the actual image here we can see that there's a lot more to that image that isn't actually being shown but we're really bound by the rules of geometry here so if you have images that are different size ratios some will have to be cropped in order to achieve a look like this now if you have more than one grid it's good to preface the CSS with this class prefix here and if we just go ahead and copy this and then go ahead and head back into the CSS editor this would make sure that the CSS is only applied to skins that use the EG Cleveland wrapper and so we could go ahead and add that to the second line as well now if we wanted to target this specific grid here if you just clicked uh, inspect element and uh, if you don't have firebug installed just use chrome and you can right click on the grid and also choose inspect element if we scroll up we can find the grids ID and here it is right here ESG grid 1 1 wrap so if we copy that instead of using the skins prefix class name we could go ahead and use the grids ID and this would make sure that this CSS only gets applied to this particular grid so if we save those changes save the skin and retest on the front end now that CSS is basically protected so it will only be applied to this particular grid and no other grid on your site now the only thing about this setup is that it's going to require some CSS media queries depending on the screen size so for example if we go ahead and resize the screen here let's say we were to resize it to 768 by 124 and this would be a iPad uh, portrait view you can see that it's not perfectly symmetrical anymore so if we review the content looks like each item has two lines of text 
so that's okay but our images are not the same size anymore so we can head back over to the CSS editor so here's my media query for a 768 width screen and we can go ahead and adjust this number here so this way it only applies for screens that are this size or lower so right now I'm gonna say that maybe if we adjust it by five or ten pixels that should get it looking good for this particular screen so let's try max height 170 and almost so maybe 165 there we go so now we've set it up to be symmetrical on an iPad portrait view so if we were to test smartphone landscape which has two columns that would also need to be adjusted and we could go ahead and add a media query for that. So I believe that is 640. And maybe that's 135. And we can adjust that number 135, maybe up to 145 or 155 uh, to show a little bit more of the image but it looks like uh, we've got a symmetrical grid with a smartphone landscape here as well. So one last thing to consider is before when we were adjusting the maximum number of words for this excerpt here over in our skin editor limit by words 14 you may have a post that maybe doesn't have a lot of content so I went ahead and adjusted this speech post here so it only has five words and you can see that this kind of skews up our symmetrical grid here a bit as the content is no longer even but we can go ahead and add some CSS for this so to do that if you head over to the skin editor and you select the excerpt element over here in the item layout right over here in the layout settings this is going to be the class name for that element so we can just go ahead and copy it to our clipboard and then inside the CSS editor we can apply a minimum height value and I'm going to say maybe 55 pixels so if we save that let's see if that fixes our issue here so all of our grid items are symmetrical again and if our content here doesn't have enough words it's still going to have the same height as the other elements because of that CSS that we applied and we may need to adjust that number as well with some CSS media queries so go ahead and test on some different screen sizes and then if you find that this number here 55 needs to be adjusted you can go ahead and copy it into the media queries and then just adjust these numbers here so uh, they match whatever's best for whatever particular screen size is in the media query and of course if we want to protect the CSS we can go ahead and preface it with the grids ID like we did uh, for the other CSS Okay, so that's how you can combine some of the advantages from an even grid layout and also a masonry grid layout. Thanks for watching.